Thank you, Your Honour. Honourable colleagues, today I'm proud to speak about how Nova Scotia is rising to the challenges and opportunities associated with technological change. In May 2023, the Government of Nova Scotia created the new Department of Cybersecurity and Digital Solutions. This department is mandated to deliver on challenges that I've discussed in this chamber many times before, like designing and delivering services around the needs of citizens. The importance of this department became abundant, abundantly clear when the government learned that it was part of a massive global cyber breach of a supposedly secure file transfer service used by hundreds of thousands of governments and corporations around the world. As a result, some Nova Scotians' personal information was stolen. Over the summer, I had the opportunity to meet with Nova Scotia's Minister of Cybersecurity and Digital Solutions, the Honourable Colton LeBlanc. I was most impressed by the fact that this cyber breach only fueled his passionate commitment to ensuring that Nova Scotia becomes a digital transformation leader. For example, Nova Scotians, Nova Scotians can now complete routine transactions like driver's license renewals, taking learner's permits, tests and grant applications online in their choice of French or English. Medical tests and appointments can be booked and modified online. Within days, the government launched online relief programs in response to Hurricane Fiona the spring wildfires, and the severe flooding event over the summer, providing simple online services and forms to help citizens in the most trying of times. The Minister's commitment to constantly iterating services and systems to meet the expectations of Nova, Sc Nova Scotians is inspiring. Too often we hear government announcements that, that suggest that a given job is done. The job isn't ever done in the digital era. The digital era constantly introduces increasing vulnerabilities across society, whether governments digitize or not. The only path to greater security is one where we constantly advance. We have to prioritize best practices over past practice and build secure digital infrastructure to mitigate both nefarious and accidental cyber breaches and their enormous costs. And these risks will only grow with the astonishing advancements of artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies. Every Canadian, including everyone in this chamber, needs to learn the skills and habits necessary to reduce our cybersecurity risks. Criminals always attack the most vulnerable targets. I'm proud to see my home province tackling these issues head on, and I wish Minister Colton LeBlanc and his department continued success in their efforts to protect and improve the lives of Nova Scotians. Thank you, colleagues.